This afternoon, in a surprise move, Bittaker took the stand in his own defense. Mr. Norris and another party took turns raping her. Uh, Mr. Norris killed her with two hammer blows to the head. Have you ever seen that young lady in person? No, sir. Have you ever taken any photographs of this young lady? No, sir. If she was brown and gagged, as Mr. Norris states, she wouldn't be able to hit me. She was paid to make certain responses. She was having difficulty following those directions. I cannot explain the actions of an intoxicated individual who's on PCP. She's saying, don't touch me. She's not screaming. She's not crying. She's not sobbing. Mr. Norris was interested in having the sounds of domination or fear. I wanted some sounds of uh, pillow talk or uh, kind of dirty talk. I just told her I liked hearing that type of thing and <coughs> I hadn't didn't have a tape at that time of such a thing so I asked her if she would make one for me Tracy Lee Pena P-E-N-A if the death penalty isn't proper in this case when would it ever be proper Lawrence Sigmund Bittaker should be put to death by administration of lethal gas